Oh, so good, my glasses steamed up. There's nothing more warming as well on an autumnal day in Wales than a lovely stew curry like this. Mmm. Oh, so calming. Oh, my hands are tingling. This video is kindly sponsored by Fiverr. Now, often you guys reach out to me on Instagram message or commenting on the YouTube videos asking me to recreate dishes on the cooking show. And something that you've been asking me to do a lot recently is make anti-inflammatory meals. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna show you foods and drinks that I eat regularly that aid my body in recovery and all round wellness. The ingredients that I'm gonna to use today have been studied and shown to reduce inflammation and have a whole load of other additional health benefits. So a different kind of video today, but if you are passionate about your health and well-being and your families, of course, because you can pass this, these dishes on, then stay tuned to the video. And I have a revelation to share with you in this video. It involves getting super cold and it's something that's been so helpful for me recently. Now, when it is cold, we reach for a hot coffee or a hot tea, but something that you can switch them for is a turmeric latte. And that's what I'm gonna show you first. It's so medicinal, healing, and magical, and beautiful tasting as well. Something that I have every other day or a few times a week. It's so beautiful. Mm. This is golden milk made with turmeric, and turmeric has been used for several thousand years in India, and it's one of the oldest foods that has been used medically for battling inflammation. So making your own homemade turmeric latte mix couldn't be easier. You're gonna need a jar, and you're gonna need the following spices. Now, I will say, making this fresh with fresh turmeric and ginger is the best way, but for convenience, this is a great way of having turmeric latte whenever you need it. In a mixing bowl, just mix together some ground turmeric with some ground ginger and ground cinnamon. Then I'm gonna grate in some ground nutmeg and star anise to taste, plus a pinch of black pepper. Turmeric should be an ingredient that we all incorporate into our diets. It's long been used to fight inflammation, stomach discomfort, joint pain, reduce cholesterol and fight cancer. Mix it up really well, place it into a jar and it stores for up to four weeks. Now you can of course play around with the quantities here if you want it more turmericy then add less of everything else. I'm gonna get it into my jar now and then it's there ready to use for up to four weeks, maybe even longer actually. That's actually a really nice little gift there. Put a sticker on that, bit of ribbon. It's a lovely medicinal homemade turmeric latte mixture. So when you want to make a turmeric latte, either you can use like a coffee throffer, I can never say that word, but you can make your milk bubbly and hot, or you can simply warm up your milk in a saucepan. And I'm using my homemade almond and oat milk, and I made the recipe in a video here, which you need to check out. So get your milk heating up gently, then grab a couple of mugs. Add a teaspoon or two of the turmeric mix in each. I like to add a little sweetness, so I'm gonna use some maple syrup and I mix it together using a matcha whisk. Then when the milk is hot, I pour it over and mix together well. Man, this is full of anti-inflammatory benefits. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Cheers. Warming. Oh, it's lovely. Very nice. Thank you. All right, enjoy. So for a delicious, hearty, nourishing meal, I'm gonna show you how to make my pumpkin coconut almond stew. It's delicious. Of course, Indian cuisine gives us so many beautiful dishes and I'm gonna take inspiration from them to make this anti-inflammatory meal because their spices are so good for us. And obviously the first ingredient into this dish is gonna be turmeric. I told you all about turmeric when we made that lovely latte and it's gotta go into this dish. So into my saucepan in a dry pan at first to toast off the spices, I'm gonna add some ground turmeric, some mustard seeds, some ground cumin and some ground fenugreek. 
So toast off these lovely spices until you smell the aromatics, the mustard seeds may start popping. And then I'm gonna get them out of the pan and start sauteing off my onion and garlic and ginger, another anti-inflammatory ingredient. And then we'll get the spices back into the pan after. Finally chop up an onion, some garlic cloves, and next finally chop some ginger, which has been noted to reduce inflammation in the colon, according to the research I did. And ginger is something that I'm gonna try and grow next year, believe it or not, in the UK. And if you wanna see a full garden tour, I recently did one, click this link here, and you'll get a tour of my garden, plus recipes. I really love that video. So get your onion, garlic, and ginger sauté in, in your saucepan until lovely and golden. It should take around five minutes. Once the onion mixture is sauteed down, add the spices back to the pan, and I'm also gonna add a pinch of chili powder, which is optional, and a little pinch of sea salt. So next into the saucepan, I'm gonna add some really good substantial vegetables and pulses. First thing I'm gonna put in is some of my homegrown giant pumpkin. I've been making my way through this pumpkin, dish after dish, and this is gonna be perfect in this lovely curry. Pumpkin is packed with nutrients like beta carotene, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. It's like a medicine ball. And then we're gonna add some black beans. Black beans are a low calorie, nutrient dense food and they're packed with disease fighting antioxidants and they have huge anti-inflammatory properties. They're a great source of fiber, iron and protein. So they're a staple in my meals. So I'm gonna add my next anti-inflammatory ingredient, which is broccoli, lovely broccoli. Broccoli is another great one. It's rich in sulforaphane, which is an antioxidant that decreases inflammation. I'm gonna add some curry leaves, which is an optional ingredient, and they add a great aromatic flavor. Then I'll deglaze the pan with some good quality vegetable stock. I like to add a cinnamon stick before getting the lid on the pan and letting my curry bubble away for about 15 minutes. Let's go and grab some leafy greens from the garden. If you can grow them yourself, all the better, and they are easy to grow. You can feel the healthiness on these lovely dino kale, you call it in the US, I believe, but it's so robust it feels, and that is gonna be so nutritious for me. Dino kale. Why do we call the kale dino kale? Because it looks like a dinosaur. So we've been shopping for our greens, the curry is smelling beautiful and that broccoli is nearly cooked. The pumpkin went in first, so we know that's definitely gonna be cooked about now. So all we need to do is break some of these lovely greens into the curry, and then I'm gonna stir through some coconut milk, okay. just a touch of that to help add that lovely creaminess, plus a little bit of garam masala, which is like that final hit of spice that this will need. This is just oozing health and nutrition packed full of beautiful spices, vegetables, greens. It's nothing more warming as well on an autumnal day in Wales than a lovely stew curry like this. So you wanna serve something like this with some really good quality grains such as like quinoa or wild rice. I'm gonna serve mine with some brown rice and I'm gonna run some lemon zest and juice through it plus some chopped fresh coriander. I've actually got some coriander growing in this ingenious little cold hot box, I call it and it's just protection against the cold weather that we're having now. Just adding those two ingredients, lemon and coriander, really just takes your rice to the next level. Don't be afraid to do stuff like this. I mean, I don't know why you'd be afraid, but it's only gonna bring more pleasure to you. Add some flavor to your rice. So let's serve up my favorite part. Oh, so good, my glass is steamed up. And with all my curries and stews, I like to top them with something crunchy, something like nuts. And out of all the anti-inflammatory nuts that you could eat, almonds are the top ones. So toasted almonds on top, and just toasting almonds, just, well, toasting all nuts just adds much better flavor. Let's give this a taste. Oh, look at this in the sun. The golden turmeric is just shining so bright. Look at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful get a bit of everything on my spoon. Mm. 
is so hearty and wholesome. It doesn't even taste like a health meal. It just tastes rich and delicious. I feel alive after eating something like this. This is why I eat things like this so often. Thank you to India for the most incredible gift of spices. Unbelievable, I use them so much and they're so good for you. So get a good pantry of dried herbs and spices. Guys, when I first started my business, I tried to do pretty much everything from photography to website building to graphic design. But I soon realized it's more efficient and you get a better result when you call upon experts in those fields. But I always struggle to find freelancers until I found Fiverr. And now Fiverr is my go-to website to find professional freelancers. So recently I wanted my logo animated to add to the videos and I used Fiverr to find a animator that could do the job and I was lucky enough to find 8th Studio who animated my logo in under 24 hours. I was so impressed and it looks so good. Guys, as you know, music plays a big part in my videos. Tom, camera guy Tom, chooses some excellent music for the videos in the perfect points. And I love reggae and dub music, it's so healing, I just love the sounds. And I wanted my own custom made song for the videos. So I went to Fiverr and I found Key Studios who made me my own unique custom instrumental dub style that we can now use whenever the time for some healing dub is needed. What I love about it is the fact that I'm here in Wales and I have access to incredible freelancers all around the world that can help me. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, there's a freelancer out there for you on Fiverr. So guys, if you want a ton of freelancers at your fingertips, then click the link below this video and use this code right by here to get 10% off. So for the last 30 days, I've been doing something a little bit crazy. I've been having an ice bath every single day and I've got a whole video coming out soon to document the whole process on why I decided to do it, on how my body has adapted and how it feels after doing ice baths. Cold water therapy has been shown to reduce inflammation, relieve pain in your body, improve circulation, lower your stress levels and reduce muscle soreness and fatigue. So even if you can get yourself in a cold shower or in an ice bath, you will reap the benefits. So we've made our turmeric latte, we've made a lovely Indian stew, we've been in the ice bath. Now we're gonna show you how to make this lovely beetroot blueberry powerful smoothie that is packed full of anti-inflammatory properties, but not only that, just really good for us all around. Some amazing ingredients in there. Some that you may not have heard before or used before, but I really recommend getting them into your diet. So for this lovely smoothie, of course, first up going into the blender, we have some beets. Beets are rich in nitrates, which reduce inflammation by removing harmful compounds from your bloodstream. I've just got one small homegrown beetroot that I cooked in the oven or you can also steam it to get that into the blender. I'm also going to add some frozen blueberries. Blueberries are one of the strongest anti-inflammatory foods out there. Not only do they help stabilize your blood pressure and promote cardiovascular health, they are also rich in vitamin C and K. Next I'm going to add an apple. They're rich in polyphenols that not only reduce inflammation but also help with blood pressure and keep blood vessels flexible. Flax seeds is another thing that you should get into your diets, whether they go in smoothies or they go in your porridge or just sprinkled over meals. They've got so many nutrients that can help fight inflammation. These little seeds are the most abundant source of omega-3 fatty acids. Now something that I add to all of my smoothies is nettle leaf powder. If you want to know more about the amazing benefits of stingy nettle then you need to watch my video that I made last year. Click up there. I'm also going to add some fresh ginger. You already know the benefits of fresh ginger when we made the curry. Now the next thing I have all the time in my smoothies is goji berries. They are a nutritional powerhouse and something that you guys should mix into your porridge or sprinkle on top of cereal or in smoothies like I'm going to do today. They are noted for their anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal properties and they do taste really good. They also contain the highest concentration of protein of any fruit and more than 15 times the amount of iron found in spinach as well as calcium and zinc. I like to add some pumpkin seeds too. They're rich in antioxidants. They're also great for the hair, skin and nails. So I'm gonna blend this all up now with some frozen water cubes and some raw coconut water. Coconut water is just so good for us. If you can get hold of it, great. If not, just use some filtered water in this. It'll be fine. Smells bloody amazing. 
little hint of ginger, sweetness from the beet and the blueberries. This is gonna be so refreshing. Serve yourself up a glass, then the rest can be stored in the fridge for up to four days. That is delicious and refreshing, even on the coldest day here in Wales. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I certainly enjoyed making it actually and researching all the ingredients and I was really pleased to see that most of the ingredients that I use in today's video that are anti-inflammatory are ingredients that I eat on a daily basis because I eat this whole foods plant-based diet. So I'm very happy about that and if you can incorporate a few of these ingredients, a few of these meals into your lifestyle then I'm sure they're going to help you too. That turmeric latte and this and the food, it doesn't taste like it's a, a health meal, it tastes in indulgent and beautiful and when you're eating fresh ingredients you're less likely to crave processed fatty oil heavy sugar heavy foods when you're eating more natural foods it's it's only going to be beneficial for you so thank you for watching please like share and comment stay tuned for the next few videos coming up they're going to be amazing i hope you're having a great start to your new year peace out baby Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to click the link below to head to Fiverr's website and use this code for 10% off.